Once graduates are loaded into the marching order system, they will receive an automated email to the email address associated with their account. The email will contain instructions on how to go ahead and log into marching order to submit their photo and their message. We've gone ahead and add, added some standard content to this email that should work for everybody. But if you do wanna make changes to the content of this email, you can go ahead and log into the marching order admin portal. You'll click on communication manager, manage templates, and then you're gonna look for the triggered email that's titled create graduate. Go ahead and click that blue edit button over to the left. And in the editor that pops up, you'll be able to edit any of the content in the body of the email. You can also add a logo or change the logo that you have by using the image edit tool that's right up here. Once graduates receive that login email, they can go ahead and click set password here, which will take them to a page where they can do just that. Once that password is chosen, they go ahead and hit enter or click set password, which will log them directly into the marching order site. Both of these pages and subsequent pages will be branded with your school's colors and logo. They go ahead and click create your slide here. It brings them to the registration form. The content of the top of this page is customizable if you need to change any of this. Uh, they go into the page, it'll verify their personal information. And once they get to the create your personal graduation slide portion, they can go ahead and click upload photo to add the photo for their slide. And they can go ahead and type in a message in this field here. The, me the personal message is limited to 150 characters, so it fits nicely on that slide for the final product. I will also ask them to type out a phonetic spelling of their name, and then they can go ahead and enter a phone number into this space. The system will actually give their phone a call to have them record their name. Both of these tools are for the professional voice artists to reference in making that uh, accurate recording of their name for the ceremony. Once everything is complete, they go ahead and click that submit button at the bottom, which takes them to a confirmation page where they can actually click the final button here to be passed over to stage clip to complete the process for everything for their virtual ceremony. Once graduates have been loaded into marching order and have begun submitting photos and messages, you can begin validation at any point. Click on the graduates button from the homepage and then click load all graduates at the bottom. This will bring up a full list of graduates who have been loaded into the site for any and all ceremonies. Once that list is loaded, use the All Ceremonies dropdown to choose your ceremony, and then use the Views dropdown to choose Validate Graduates. This will bring a full list of any graduate who has submitted a photo and or a message to the site. Use your mouse to hover over the photo to view that it's accurate, and then simply look to the right to see the message that the graduates have entered. If any changes need to be made before approving the graduate, click the blue edit button to the right and scroll down to the submission portion of the form. You can delete a photo, upload a new photo, or rotate within this area. You can also change the message that the graduate has submitted or remove it completely. Once all changes are complete, hit submit and watch out for that survey save button at the bottom right. Go back to the graduates and then reload this, refresh this view to show any updates that were made while editing the grad. This will bring up this message now says, I love you, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and approve this message. So that disappears the message from this list. I'll approve these two as well. And now my validation is currently complete. However, if any more graduates add more photos or if any of the graduates we already validated were to go in and make changes, those graduates will repopulate into this list as the site is open. If you want to view the graduates who have already been validated, go to validation complete and then you can choose anyone from this list just like you did before. The final virtual ceremony page will look a lot like what you see here. Graduates and guests will have options to search by filter on the top of the page. These filters are dependent on the types of data we have from the school. They can also use the search tool to search for a specific graduate by name. Once they found the record they're looking for, they can go ahead and click on that slide. Graduating magna cum laude, Kimberly Bertrand. At the bottom of the slide, they can choose to play the audio another time. They can post to different social media outlets or download that slide for future reference. The final version will have a button here that'll take them to see their stage clip.